Looks like some of those packages are pretty heavy. The post office worker has to sort these packages by how heavy they are. Good idea. That'll help. There is a pan on this side and a pan on this side. At the moment, both pans are empty, and because they are straight across from one another, the pans are balanced. We call this a pan balance. Drag a block onto this pan to see what happens. Now that there's a block on this pan, we can see that this side has gone down. Now drag a block onto this pan to see what happens. Now the pans are balanced again. That means that the block on this pan is as heavy as the block on this pan. In other words, they weigh the same. Drag blocks to each of the pans to see what happens to the balance. Let's compare the weight of these packages using the balance. Drag this package to this pan. Now, drag this package to this pan. We can see that this package is heavier because this pan is lower. And this package is lighter because this pan is higher. Let's use the blocks to see how heavy these packages are. We can start by weighing this package. Drag as many blocks as you need onto this pan to balance the pans. Click OK. When you're done, you need fewer blocks than that to balance the pans. Try again. You're right. Five blocks on this pan balance the pans. Because it takes one, two, three, four, five blocks on this pan to balance the package on this pan, we can say that this package weighs five blocks. Let's put packages that weigh five blocks or less than five blocks on this shelf. Now, drag this package onto this pan. Drag as many blocks as you need onto this pan to balance the pans. Click OK when you're done. You got it. Six blocks balance the pans. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks on this pan balance the package on this pan. So this package weighs six blocks. We can label this shelf more than five blocks. Since six is greater than five, this package goes here. 
Now for this package. Hey, wait a minute. Just because that package looks smaller than the one that weighs six blocks, it doesn't mean that it weighs less. You need to weigh that package before you know what shelf to put it on. Drag this package to this pan. Drag as many blocks as you need onto this pan to balance the pans. Click OK when you're done. You're right. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks on this pan balance the package on this pan, this package weighs eight blocks. On which shelf do you think we place this package? Drag the package to a shelf. Then click OK. Well done. The package goes here. This package weighs eight blocks. Eight blocks weigh more than five blocks, so this package goes on the shelf labeled more than five blocks. I guess we can't tell how heavy something is just by looking at it. This package is smaller than this one, but it weighs more. Now to weigh the last package. Drag this package onto this pan. Drag as many blocks as you need onto this pan to balance the pans. Click OK when you're done. You're right. This package weighs one, two, three, four, five blocks. But let's remove the blocks from this pan for a moment. Now drag this package onto this pan. The package on this pan weighs five blocks, and the package on this pan also weighs five blocks. The pans are balanced. Although these packages look different in size, their weight is the same, five blocks. So both packages go on the shelf labeled five blocks or less. There are some pretty large packages to weigh down here in the storeroom. Hmm, I don't think that pan balance is big enough to weigh these packages. Ah, now that's better. This is a spring balance. At the moment, because there's nothing on the balance, the arrow points to zero. Drag this package onto the balance to see what happens. Putting this package onto the balance made the spring stretch so that the arrow points to nine. So we can label this package nine. Now drag this package. Onto the balance. Putting this package onto the balance made the spring stretch so that the arrow is now pointing between the numbers ten and sixteen. Click on this handle. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen. 
Now we can label this package. Which of these numbers do you think we use to label this package? Drag the number here, then click OK. That's it. The arrow is pointing to 15. So we can label this package 15. Another package? You sure are busy today. Drag this package onto the balance. The arrow is pointing to 12. So we can label this package 12. OK, now that we've labeled these packages, let's arrange them. Can you help our friend? Drag the heaviest package to this shelf. Click OK when you're done. You're right. This is the heaviest package. Fifteen is greater than nine. Fifteen is also greater than twelve. So this package is the heaviest. Now for these two packages. Drag the lighter package to this shelf. Click OK when you're done. That's not it. Try again. That's right. This package is lighter. 9 is less than 12. So this package is lighter than this one. Now we can put this package on this shelf. Heaviest, next heaviest, and lightest. Good work. Oh, there's the bell. Time for your break. Well done. You've completed this lesson. Click here to go to the practice area. Or click here to return to the menu. This number of blocks has been used to balance the pineapple. And this number of blocks has been used to balance the coconut. Which fruit do you think is heavier, the pineapple or the coconut? Click on the heavier fruit, then click OK. That's it. The coconut is heavier. The pineapple weighs one, two, three, four blocks. And the coconut weighs one, two, three, four, five blocks. Five is greater than four. So the coconut is heavier than the pineapple. Which chinchilla is heavier? Click on the heavier chinchilla, then click OK. That's it. This is the heavier chinchilla. This chinchilla weighs six blocks. And this chinchilla weighs five blocks. Six is greater than five. So this chinchilla is heavier. These sacks of oats have been weighed on a spring balance. Each sack is labeled with its weight. This sack is labeled five. This sack is labeled eight. And this sack is labeled six. Drag the heaviest sack to this shelf. The next heaviest sack to this shelf. And drag the lightest sack to this shelf. When you're done, click OK. That's it. This is the heaviest sack, so it goes on this shelf. This is the next heaviest sack, so it goes on this shelf. And this is the lightest sack, so it goes on this shelf. 
eight is greater than five. And eight is also greater than six. So this sack is the heaviest, and it goes on this shelf. Six is greater than five. So this sack is the next heaviest, and it goes on this shelf. Since this sack is the lightest, it goes on this shelf. Click on each owl. This owl weighs eight blocks, so it is heavier than these owls. This owl weighs four blocks, so it is heavier than this owl, but lighter than this owl. This owl weighs three blocks, so it is lighter than these owls. Good work! You've completed these practice questions. Click here to go to the workout, or click here to return to the menu. What a great day for the pumpkin competition! First prize goes to the heaviest pumpkin. Okay, let's put the three entries on these pan balances to weigh them. Now we need to see how many blocks it takes to balance each pumpkin. That way, we'll be able to tell which pumpkin is the heaviest. Drag blocks onto each of these pans to balance the pumpkins. Click OK when you're done. Well done! You can balance the pumpkins like this. So, it takes six blocks to balance this pumpkin, eight blocks to balance this pumpkin, and five blocks to balance this pumpkin. Now that all three pumpkins are balanced, we can find out which pumpkin is the heaviest. And the judge can award these prizes. The heaviest pumpkin will get the gold medal. The next heaviest pumpkin will get the silver medal. And the lightest pumpkin will get the bronze medal. Drag each medal to the correct pumpkin. Click OK when you're done. That's it. This pumpkin is the heaviest, so it gets the gold medal. This pumpkin is the next heaviest, so it gets the silver medal. And this pumpkin is the lightest, so it gets the bronze medal. Let's see how we balanced the pumpkins. Starting with the first one, it takes one, two, three, four, five, six blocks to balance this pumpkin. So we can say that this pumpkin weighs six blocks. Drag numbers here and here to show how many blocks these pumpkins weigh. Click OK when you're done. You're right. There are eight blocks here, so we can say that this pumpkin weighs eight blocks. And 
There are five blocks here. So we can say that this pumpkin weighs five blocks. Now, the pumpkin that weighs the greatest number of blocks is the heaviest, and it will get the gold medal. Click on the heaviest pumpkin, then click OK. That's right. This pumpkin is the heaviest. 8 is greater than 6, and 8 is greater than 5. So the pumpkin that weighs 8 blocks is the heaviest. This pumpkin wins the gold medal. That leaves the pumpkins that weigh 6 blocks and 5 blocks. Let's see which one gets the silver medal and which gets the bronze medal. Silver goes to the heavier of these pumpkins. Drag the correct medal to each of these two pumpkins. Click OK when you're done. You're right. The silver medal goes to this pumpkin. And the bronze medal goes to this pumpkin. Six is greater than five. So the pumpkin that weighs six blocks is heavier than the pumpkin that weighs five blocks. So the silver medal goes to this pumpkin. And the bronze medal goes to this pumpkin. Good job! Now all the pumpkins have a medal. Good job! You've completed this workout. Click here to go to the next lesson. Or click here to return to the menu.